25th. And, uh, and of course, you know, even if you're seeing this and it's not, it's still apropos for any time of year. We're in Luke chapter 1. We're in that few minutes platform. We just take a very few minutes. Uh, Luke chapter 1, uh, and you'll see these words, uh, verse 38. Mary responded, Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you said uh, about me come true. All right. And just backing up just a little, she says here, what's more, your relative Elizabeth, remember uh, from the last session, uh, we back up just a little bit in terms of these verses. Um, you know, because remember Mary in the last session, she was just so dumbfounded. Uh, she wanted to know how this could be. And not only was Mary having a child, but here it is in verse 36. What's more, your relative Elizabeth has become pregnant in her old age. People used to say she was barren, but she has conceived a son and is now in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is impossible with God. That's what we want to talk about. Nothing is impossible. We said those very words, in fact, in the last session, and it bears to be repeated. Uh, you know, sometimes we're so oriented that something always has to be fresh and new. Something has to be fresh and new. What happens when something is fresh and new all the time, and that's fine, we want things fresh and new, but it doesn't mean you forget the tried and true. We want it to be fresh and new, but it doesn't mean you forget the tried and true. We have to be reminded of things. And look, this is what they, he couldn't say it any better. Nothing is impossible for God. That's what we all must hold to. Look, when we are praying, we are praying very often, more than not, because we face something that our rationale and our logic says it's over. It's done. This is the way we go. it's going to be. Okay. Somebody goes to the hospital. They're ill. All right. Let's just use the example of pneumonia. They got pneumonia. You know, it's just going to be what it's going to be. If the antibiotics don't work, that's it. If somebody is in a car accident, if someone loses a job, you know, you're going to lose everything you've got. Because that's what the logic says. No money. That you can hurry up and get a job. You Because that's what the logic says. But the reason why we pray is because nothing is impossible with God. That's the whole point of praying. We pray because we're not subject to, we're subject to all of the logic and all of the rationale, but we also can live beyond it from circumstance to circumstance, and that's why we pray. We don't want just things, the death and decay and everything that's going to happen just to lay itself out without some intervention, without some interceding. God is the, is the difference maker. And how does he do that? Because nothing is impossible for him. You may have a child who's grown up and least likely to succeed, because, but because of God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And so he says here to convince Mary, not only are you going to have a child, but Elizabeth is having You think that's mine, Lord. Elizabeth is having a child as well. Wow. How can that happen? Nothing is impossible with God. Father, we pray. We pray. Oh, 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 oh